Good evening, this is All India Radio Kohima and I am Nobin Pradhan with the evening news. First, the headlines. President Draupadi Murmu says India is giving special attention to the rights of forest-dwelling communities. Home Minister Amit Shah asserts that India has a zero-tolerance policy towards the issue of drugs. State Election Commission Nagaland approves 693 polling stations in 39 municipal and town councils and Deputy Commissioner Zunepoto Rahul Mahanudas Mali urges citizens to maintain peace during the ensuing state assembly elections. Now the news in detail. President Draupadi Murmu said India is giving special attention to the rights of forest-dwelling communities. Addressing the probationers of the Indian Forest Service at Rashtrapati Bhavan today, the President said forests are essential for the social, cultural and economic development of the country and we must keep our forests alive and healthy. She said development is a must and so is sustainability. The President added that nature has given us bountiful presence and it is the duty of each one of us to be sensitive and responsible towards the environment. Murmu added that the symbiotic relationship of the forest dwellers, including tribal communities, with the forests is now widely recognized and factored into our choices for development. She emphasized that it was the responsibility of Indian Forest Service officers to make these communities aware of their rights and duties towards the conservation and protection of biodiversity. She added that we have a big challenge of not just conserving the forests, but dealing with climate change. She urged Indian Forest Service officers to innovate and come out with new methods for sustainable management of India's forest resources. Murmu said that they must also play an effective role in protecting forests from illegal activities which have a negative economic and environmental impact. Home Minister Amit Shah today asserted that India has a zero-tolerance policy towards the issue of drugs. He said countries promoting terrorism in India are using the profits from drugs for this and the presence of this dirty money also gradually hollows the economy. Shah said this while replying to a short-duration discussion in the Lok Sabha on drug abuse and steps taken by the government. He further stated that the profits being made from the drugs are utilized for terrorism as well. The minister said, the government policy is very clear that those consuming drugs are victims and one should be sensitive towards them and give victims a conducive atmosphere for rehabilitation. Shah urged all the states in Union territories to come together to fight against the minis. He stressed the need to stop the entry of drugs through borders, ports and airports. Shah added that the Revenue Department, Narcotics Control Bureau and anti-narcotics agencies have to work against the minis being on the same page. State Election Commission Nagaland has approved the list of polling stations in 39 municipal and town councils received from the electoral registration officers. Altogether, there are 418 wards in the 39 municipal and town council with 693 polling stations. There are a total of 3,60,150 electors out of which 1,78,891 are male and 1,81,259 are female. Dimapur Municipal Council has the highest number of polling stations with 118 for the 23 wards, while there are 22 town councils with 9 polling stations each. Deputy Commissioner Zunebodo Rahul Mahanudas Mali urged the people of Agunato to maintain peace during the ensuing state assembly elections. Addressing the gathering at the Systematic Voters' Education and Electoral Participation on Clean Electoral Role and Clean Election Campaign held at Agunato Zunebodo today, the Deputy Commissioner asked that the washes posted in Agunato not to be biased against any political party and campaign or work for them. He cautioned against any illegal or unlawful activities during election time. Mali said people violating the rule would be strictly dealt with and called upon the various political parties to control the youths from violence and disturbances. Additional Superintendent of Police Sunebodo Vekrolo Koza requested the people of Agunato to cooperate with the administration to ensure peaceful and violence-free election. He stated that he will be available anytime in case of emergencies. Koza also requested every individual to cooperate towards conducting a clean election. The program was attended by representatives of political parties, Dobashis, Gamburas, block-level officers, churches and other stakeholders. You are listening to the news from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare Dr. Mansuk Mandivya said the government is prepared to manage any situation arising out of COVID-19. Chairing a high-level meeting in New Delhi to review the COVID-19 situation in the country, Mandavia in a tweet said that some in view of the rising cases of COVID-19 
In some countries, he reviewed the situation with experts and officials today, saying that COVID is not yet over yet. Mandavia directed all concerned to be alert and strengthen surveillance. The Health Ministry has asked states and union territories to increase genome sequencing of positive samples amid a sudden spurt in COVID cases in China, Japan, the United States, Korea and Brazil. Union Minister for Education Dharmendra Pradhan said the government has taken several initiatives for the development of tribal communities in the country in the last eight years. The minister said that the government has constructed over 650 Eklavia model residential schools with a view to give impetus to quality education in tribal areas. Talking about the benefits of the National Education Policy 2020, Pradhan said the new policy will benefit the tribal communities as there is also a focus on imparting education in the mother tongue and local language. Pradhan further added that various ambitious schemes like Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industries and stand-up are being implemented for generating employment and promoting self-employment in tribal areas. Nagaland Voluntary Consumers Organization NVCO, conducted a week-long observance of National Consumers Day in continuation of the campaign Jago Grahak Jago. The week-long program was held with the aim to create better consumer right awareness among the citizens. NVCO appealed to all the consumers to always remain alert while buying goods and availing services. The NVCO assured the citizens that the organization will continually fight for the interest of the consumers. NVCO further appealed the government agencies to promote the welfare of consumers and protection of their rights and also urged government to implement the Consumer Protection Act 2019. Minister of State for Communications Devu Singh Chauhan said 93% of villages in the country are covered with 3G and 4G mobile broadband services. He said the government is spending over 26,000 crore rupees to provide 4G mobile services to nearly 25,000 uncovered villages in the country. In addition, over 6,000 villages having only 2G or 3G services shall be upgraded to 4G. Chauhan said, by next year, all the villages in the country shall be connected under the National Broadband Mission. The government has released over 157 crore rupees to the states and union territories under the Nirbhaya Fund scheme for setting up of women help desks in police stations. This was informed by Minister of State for Home Ajay Kumar Mishra in a written reply in the Rajya Sabha today. He said sanctioned funds also cover any new police stations set up in the state and union territories. And to end the news, a reminder of the headlines. President Draupadi Murmu says India is giving special attention to the rights of forest-dwelling communities. Home Minister Amit Shah asserts that India has zero-tolerance policy towards the issue of drugs. State Election Commission Nagaland approves 693 polling stations in 39 municipal and town councils. And Deputy Commissioner Zunevodo Rahul Bhanudas Mali urges citizens to maintain peace during the ensuing state assembly elections. And that is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.